Okay, we're going to field strip, disassemble a Kimber Aegis Elite Custom 45 ACP uh, 1911 handgun, and then we're going to reassemble it. So first thing we need to do with the Aegis Elite, of course, verify it is unloaded, which it is. Now, first thing we need to do is remove the barrel bushing. That can be done in a couple of ways. One of the easiest ways is to use a barrel bushing wrench. Just take the wrench, press it down flush, turn it 90 degrees. Now be careful, put your thumb over top because this is spring loaded and it's going to pop out of there. And make sure you use eye protection when you do this. All right, remove that. Now your slide is going to be, with the safety off, it's going to be free to move. So you want to slide Get this notch right over top of the slide stop button, just like that. And when that's in place, just press this down. And it's going to raise this up on this side so you can pull this right out. Now the slide is going to come right off of the front of the gun. Next thing you do, turn it upside down. You can pull the recoil spring right out. That'll make it easier to get the guide rod out the back. Get the guide rod out. Now your barrel is not going to come out until you get this bushing all the way out. So take your wrench and turn it all the way the other way. And now you can use the barrel to push and it causes this to pop out. Pull that out. Now make sure this link is down. The barrel will slide right out like that. Your Kimber Aegis Elite Custom 5 inch 45 ACP 1911 disassembled and field strip for cleaning. All right, now we're going to reassemble the Kimber Aegis Elite Custom. First, Get your slide upside down. We want to put the barrel in, barrel link down, slide it all the way in. Get your barrel bushing. Make sure this little lug is lined up with the opening here. Slide that in flush. Turn it all the way that way. Your guide rod, put it in like that. Take a recoil spring, closed end, Get the closed end in, line it up on the guide rod, all the way snug on there. All right, now holding it together, make sure this link is. pointing down like that so you can see it. So we want to slide the slide onto the frame just like that. So we want to get this barrel link lined up with this hole on the inside. So just kind of slide it through and watch in the hole here as the first part of the barrel link goes by. And there's the middle of the barrel link. So we just Stop that there, take the pin and drop it through. Line up this notch right in the middle of this square hole, just like that. Take the slide stop, place it on top of the pin here, hold it in place with your thumb. So it looks like that. You want to press here and here at, nice and even at the same time to push that straight in. You don't want to you don't want to bring this up and scratch your frame right here. Okay, once that is done, now close the slide all the way, lock it in place. Take the gun, 
set it down on the tabletop take your recoil spring plug right here now be careful make sure you have eye protection here press it down and turn the barrel bushing enough to catch that so now that's holding that down and take your bushing wrench you want to press down on this with the bushing wrench like that turn it straight until it lines up and that'll pop back into place All right, now you can take the safety off rack the slide make sure it feels right and you are done thanks for watching